Today, I have the great honor of being with one of the best authors of our time. It's Dr. Bruce Lipton, who wrote Spontaneous Evolution in his first book, The Biology of Belief, which many of you have read about in prior columns. I am at the, where am I? The Harmony Festival. <laughs> I'm at the Fair. Harmony Festival in Santa Rosa, California. And I would like to tell some of you that there is always hope. And Dr. Lipton is here to speak about that because what's so important for you, taking medication every day, trying to figure out how you're gonna get well, and you're on this merry-go-round thinking you need all these pills. Well, I'm with the man who actually wrote the book on how to change the biology of your cells with your thoughts. So right now, Bruce is going to speak to all of you and help you understand that there is another alternative. It doesn't have to be about all the medications, one pill after another. Go ahead, Bruce. Tell Thank us you so you. much, Susie. It's just wonderful to speak with you about some very important information, and that is this. We've all been programmed with the belief that we are victims of our biology, that our genetics control our fate, our emotions, our behaviors, and all these other characteristics of our life. Significance when you believe that genes control this is that you recognize as far as we know we didn't pick the genes, we can't change the genes, and the genes control us. That makes us victims of our own biology. Then we have learned irresponsibility because we've been told, what can we do about these things? The genes control it. Well, the interesting understanding of the new biology is there's a new science, which I really hope you will investigate. It's called epigenetic control. Genetic control literally means control by genes. The new science, epigenetic control, means something different because epi, the prefix, means above. So when I say epigenetic control, I'm saying control above the genes. The new science of heredity reveals that your perceptions, your beliefs, and attitudes about life create an interior chemistry of your body, change your blood, the chemistry of your blood. So when you're afraid, you release stress hormones in your blood. When you're in love, you release growth hormones and things like oxytocin and dopamine, pleasure hormones. Well, as you change the chemistry of the blood, you control the genetics. So the simple point is that your mind controls the chemistry, which in turn controls the genes. And as a result, the belief of health or disease is a belief and not a biological reality. And when you correct your belief, you can get healthy again. So what do you have to say to someone that's been told that they're terminal? For example, many of my readers are very, very sick and they've been given maybe six months to a year to live. And yet I understand you're a proponent of changing the cells and we have 50 trillion of them. Can someone change their cells and go on to live a happy life if they've been given a terminal diagnosis? Well, the wonderful part about that, Susie, is of course, because we call these patients that have been called terminally ill and everybody counted them out. And then we understand that these patients, a number of them express what is called a spontaneous remission. These are terminally ill patients filled with cancer, about to die, and then all of a sudden they have a spontaneous remission. The question is, what is the underlying feature, common character of all spontaneous remissions? And the answer is simply this. All spontaneous remissions are related to a change of belief or attitude on the part of the patient, meaning that the person has taken over control of their own health and not have bought the opinion of a so-called professional. We were programmed as kids to recognize that health wasn't our responsibility. Most of us, when we were young, when we were sick, were told, though, we must go to the doctor. Well, when you learn this through your childhood, the thing that you're learning is that when it comes to sickness, it's not you that fixes yourself, it's your doctor that fixes you. This is a belief and it turns out to be incorrect because people had healed themselves for a million years before they were in medical schools. That people heal themselves through their beliefs and their communal relationships with their family and the support of all those around them. And what we have to recognize is if you buy the doctor's opinion as truth, you will manifest the doctor's reality as your own. And that is a clear as a point I can make in saying if you buy a terminal diagnosis, you bought an illness even if you didn't have it. People that don't even have a cancer, if they fully believe they have a cancer, actually create a cancer. Because the new biology says we take our thoughts, our beliefs, and our attitudes and turn them into biology. So if your biology is not in health, it's not because the body was wrong. It reveals that our programming, our perceptions, and our attitudes are not supporting that health. We can turn those around and have 
all spontaneous remissions and all be healthy. Excellent, and thank you for that. And see, there you have it from one of the world's leading experts on belief and changing our perceptions and how we can heal, and the author of Spontaneous Evolution. Where can we get this book, Dr. Lipton? You can get this book at Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, or any real bookstore with hardcover books. And uh, next fall, this coming fall, in softbacks. Excellent. Thanks Thank for you. taking the time today. What a, what a pleasure to meet you. I'm so glad to meet you at this wonderful healing fair. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.